empathy feels like unconditional love, and you're seeing that as a benefit? To me, noticing when I've gotten empathy, that's what it's felt like in my body, that it's unconditional love. I could say no wrong. I could, I could reveal my innermost dark secrets, and it would be held with respect and compassion. And by doing that, I felt more respect and compassion for myself. If somebody else was be able to hold these judgments that I had or these, you know, this darkness of the soul or whatever, if they were able to hold that with the compassion, it allowed me to be more compassionate with myself. So empathy is about really um, just clearly understanding what a person is saying, no matter what it is they're saying. I, I'm sure I could empathize with a murderer well, I have empathized with murderers, and I've, you know, I've worked in a psychiatric hospital, so I've empathized with people that have really done some dastardly deeds, you know, and um, I've been able to just hear them, and through hearing them, it's created a connection between me and them, and they felt safer to expose more of themselves, maybe parts of themselves that they're ashamed of, and so that's what the love does, the, the sense of love, the sense of love, and when we get, when I get to that sense with somebody, I do feel love for them. You know, when I'm really understanding and seeing who they are and if they're being honest and authentic about it, you know, complete with their human foibles and um, mistakes, you know, I just feel a, a kinship and a compassion toward them. Hmm. So you're really saying that uh, by empathizing with someone, it's leading towards, it is itself love, or it's leading towards the sense of, of, lo of love yeah, both, for that both. connection, both. So it's yeah. almost like one and the same, that yeah. uh, empathy and love are kind of the same. Yeah, that's what I see. It. I, I see empathy as uh, love in action. You know, because people say, oh, I love you, but it, do it just doesn't mean anything. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like you have to kind of say it to your partner or something. Yeah. But it's like really hearing someone is really the action part maybe. Yeah, yeah. Because like, well, I'm really hearing what's going on for you, and that's the the uh, maybe the action part. Is that yeah. how you see it? Yeah. Just really, you love somebody. What is love is really hearing and understanding who that person is. Looking, you know, feeling into them, understanding uh, what they're expressing, what they've been through, that's about loving somebody, not just saying the words, I love you. A lot of times those words come out of a sense of dependency. I love you. Please don't leave me. See, mm -hmm. I said I love you, so don't leave me. <laughs> but that's not love. But empathy is love in action. Well, it sounds like that was very meaningful for you. Like maybe you had some experiences of receiving that that empathy and that love, but then it was very meaningful for you. Absolutely um, meaningful, and and also it's very meaningful for me to give empathy to somebody. Giving and receiving are kind of the same when it comes to empathy. Well, I, I've seen um, that empathy is, uh, for me, I've kind of described empathy as if love is like, you know, going 100 miles an hour, that empathy is like, you know, from zero to 30 or something, 30 or 40, in the sense that it's kind of like the gateway, the starting. If, mm -hmm. Like I might not really, you know, totally like the person, you have all kinds of problems with them, but if I can just start empathizing with them, I can start kind of getting the, the you know, getting up to speed. And so there's some kind of a, a depth that at some point that maybe, you know, it turns into love. Does that... Wonder yeah, that? you know, especially if you're in judgment of somebody and uh, it's hard for you to uh, want to connect with them, but you can start giving them empathy and then, you know, if they're being authentic and, and revealing, you know, the, then you start to connect and you start to uh, feel uh, compassion for them. See, yeah, I, I, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I believe uh, empathy, uh, understanding is the opposite of judgment. So um, is there more around that about unconditional love? Uh, and so it's just, uh, it's, it's the feeling, empathy is your feeling, this love. 
is basically it's the, the the sense of love and feeling unconditional love and in my body that's what it feels like it feels like love when I receive empathy it feels like love and even when I'm giving empathy I feel loving toward that person well what one thing is coming up for me is you know how in the uh, 60s there was a big love movement Mm-hmm. You know, as I was talking about love, demonstrating for love, it seems sort of like overwhelming. Oh, you can't love, you know, it just seemed kind of like undoable. Like, you know, you can't love everybody. That's just too big, pie in the sky. It's too idealistic. And mm-hmm. I've seen, I felt that empathy is like you're kind of saying it's the, the uh, love in action. That it's kind of, if we can just start with empathy, it's not so overwhelming term like love but it's kind of more accessible. We can kind of start with that and kind of move towards that loving, that unconditional love owner, just how that resonates. Yeah, it sounds like a, the, the term empathy, I think, is much more concrete. And uh, love is, is not very, you know, what is love? No one really knows what it is. You know, but empathy has clear definitions, clear practices, clear processes, um, and it feels like love in the body. So, yeah, so I think that's true. I, th- I think empathy is kind of a gateway to that. And, you know, it's not about um, loving everyone unconditionally, you know, because we're, you know, humans and most of us haven't evolved to that state where we love everybody unconditionally. But with the tool of empathy, it, we can take it step by step. Sometimes if we're in judgment of somebody, we can give ourselves empathy and begin to hear our own feelings and needs and have compassion for ourselves. So that's like a step on the journey of this unconditional love, kind of clearing what's in our way of loving others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. That's that step-by-step way of of moving towards love and and, uh, connection.